There's wonder and adventure around every corner. You just have to be brave enough to find it. This is Netflix's Hilda, created and based on the books by Luke Pearson. It's the story of Hilda, an adventurous blue-haired girl who has lived her entire life in the magical wilderness, where creatures such as giants, elves, and trolls are commonplace. That is until unfortunate circumstances force Hilda and her mother to move into the city of Trollberg, a civilization literally walled off from the wilderness. Thankfully for Hilda, no walls could ever keep out the magic of the wilderness, and now alongside her new friends David and Frida, Hilda discovers more mysterious creatures and secrets in the adventure of a lifetime. Right off the bat, I have to say, this is definitely one of those shows that cannot be described through words. It's something you have to experience for yourself to truly understand the praise. But hey, while we're here, I might as well give it a shot, right? It's Hilda time! We didn't know you even existed until recently. Pure ignorance! You're invisible! So when it comes to the story of Hilda, it actually spans across more than you would think, with plot points and details being established that come into play a season or more later. The show currently has two seasons and a movie. We're talking about the two seasons today though. The movie is a story for another day. There's important information throughout every episode, meaning that you definitely have to watch Hilda in order. As for the stories in each episode, what's usually the case is that Hilda and her friends are exploring the city and or wilderness, and through some circumstances, meet yet another mysterious creature. While you'd think that a few of the creatures would be insignificant, surprisingly, they all come to play in the series in one way or another. Not to mention, information regarding them can ultimately become useful in a later time. The episodes also explore the secrets of Trollberg and the most feared beasts in the show, trolls. Trollberg is named after them after all, and the walls were built mostly to keep the trolls out. So in the show, we get to learn more regarding the history of this magical world. And it's quite fascinating, I must say. So yeah, stories in Hilda are diverse and well incorporated with payoffs so that they're all important and fun to watch play out. Two thumbs up. Characters? Don't even get me started on the characters in this show. There's so many worth discussing, let alone main and great characters. So, let's just focus on the most important characters for today. First, we have our adventurous protagonist, Hilda. A young explorer with a heart of gold, Hilda always has her mind on the mythical and is friend to all beasts and spirits. All that with a charming personality and selfless nature combined to make a great protagonist to follow. We then have Frida, one of Hilda's best friends. A perfectionist and one of Trollberg's top Sparrow Scouts, Frida truly has a sense of mind over matter. To her, if you don't have a plan, then you're as good as dead. Next up is David, Hilda's other best friend. He's a bit of a nervous wreck, always being the first to point out the dangers of exploring. But don't get it twisted, because when David works up the strength to overpower his fear, he proves himself to be a boy of many remarkable talents. Now, to briefly list off other important characters in the show, because there's just that many. Hilda's pet deer fox, Twig, a loyal companion unlike any other. Hilda's mother, Joanna, a graphic designer and a very protective parent for her young adventurer. There's Alfer, an elf researcher from the wilderness assigned to study Trollberg. The Woodman, one of Hilda's only past neighbors from the wilderness who's incredibly indifferent to everything. And of course, the Trolls, the most feared beast in the wilderness. But there's so much more under their rocky surface than meets the eye. There's plenty of characters to meet in Hilda, and for the most part, there's someone for everyone to enjoy as a favorite. Like, seriously, they're really good. What the? Want to know what one of the best parts about animation is? You can bring anything you want to life, and the only limit is your imagination. Hilda exemplifies this expertly. The animation is beautiful in this show, and just so full of endless creativity, grandeur, and mood. The world of Hilda feels just as mythical as it's said to be. You can tell this isn't just our reality with a few fantasy creatures in there. There's proper history and influence on the inhabitants that prove life is very different in this world. The creatures themselves are showcased to the audience the same way as they're showcased to the characters, with something like a common vitra being not so grand, to the towering magnificence of an ancient giant. 
Another supporting factor to the show's great visuals is the amazing color palette. The use of warm and cool colors do a fantastic job in getting the audience into the right mood. Not to mention, it just looks very pretty. Lots of shots from this show could probably make awesome wallpapers and posters. Also, when the characters get further away from the camera, they become adorable mini versions of themselves, which is cute as heck. So yeah, the animation in Hilda is absolutely fantastic. The music in Hilda is great in the best ways, as it sets the mood of the scenes perfectly and also sounds really good. The score, unsurprisingly, is just as mythical as you would hope. Whether a scene is joyful, mysterious, heartwarming, action-packed, scary, saddening, and more, you can always count on the score to elevate those scenes into greater heights. But there isn't just wordless music in Hilda, there's also songs. And no, not songs sung by the characters themselves, for the most part, but pre-existing licensed songs from various musical artists. Now now, relax, while it is true that licensed songs are usually a negative for most shows and movies, you can rest assured that these songs were chosen with actual thought and care in mind. The songs are also important in setting the mood of the scenes, and are mostly used in montages. However, the songs are also not out of place in the slightest, and sound like the kind of music the citizens of Trollberg would listen to. You don't have to worry that something as distracting as Take On Me or Holding Out For A Hero is gonna start playing, because that would be stupid, and Hilda doesn't do stupid. That was pretty traumatic. But such is the life of an adventurer. Well, that was certainly a fun time. Hilda is one of those shows that just makes you feel warm and fuzzy. There's a very wholesome vibe to the whole thing, even alongside the mystery and sometimes dark moments. Like I said earlier, this show is something not explainable through words. You really have to experience it for yourself to truly understand why Hilda has gotten so much praise over the years. It's magical, it's adorable, it's fantastical, and for all those reasons, I am giving Hilda a grade of A+. What a great time. Doesn't it just fill you with so much joy when animation is used to create worlds like this one? It certainly does for me. And with all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I also hope you don't mind liking and subscribing if you did. Go watch Hilda, enjoy yourself, and have a great day everyone!